Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to evening prayer. It's Thursday evening, Thursday, the 24th of December, Christmas Eve. And you're very welcome if you're joining us this Christmas Eve for evening prayer. As always, you can follow along using the link in the post description or by following the daily prayer app. Let's take a moment of quiet as we begin our time of prayer together. Lord God, as we are about to celebrate Emmanuel, God with us, we thank you that by your spirit you are with us now. Help us to celebrate the good news of Christmas. Help us to hear the message of the angel to not be afraid. Help us to hear the good news of great joy and help us to receive your comfort and your joy at this time. Lord, help us to pray this evening. Help us to hear your word. Help us to know that you're with us. In Jesus name. Amen. Evening prayer, Christmas Eve. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of light and darkness. To you be glory and praise forever. As evening falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. May your word be a lantern to our feet and a light upon our path, that we may behold your coming among us. Strengthen us in our stumbling weakness and free our tongues to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. I'm read the words of this hymn. Creator of the stars of night, thy people's everlasting light. O Jesu, Saviour of us all, regard thy servants when they call. Thou grieving at the bitter cry of all creation doomed to die, didst come to save a ruined race with healing gifts of heavenly grace. Thou camest bridegroom of the bride as drew the world to evening tide, proceeding from a virgin shrine, the Son of Man, yet Lord divine. At thy great, great name exalted now, all knees must bend, all hearts must bow, and things in heaven and earth shall own, that thou art Lord and King alone. To thee, O Holy One, we pray, our judge in that tremendous day. Preserve us while we dwell below, from every onslaught of the foe. All praise, eternal Son, to thee, whose advent sets thy people free whom with the Father we adore, and Spirit blessed for evermore. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. Psalm this evening is Psalm number 85. You, Lord, showed favour to your land. You restored the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the iniquity of your people and covered all their sins. You set aside all your wrath and turned from your fierce anger. Restore us again, God our Saviour, and put away your displeasure towards us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will you prolong your anger through all generations? Will you not revive us again that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your unfailing love, Lord, and grant us your salvation. I will listen to what God the Lord says. He promises peace to his people. 
his faithful servants, but let them not turn to folly. Surely his salvation is near those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Love and right faithfulness meet together, righteousness and peace kiss each other. Faithfulness springs forth from the earth, and righteousness looks down from heaven. The Lord will indeed give what is good, and our land will yield its harvest. Righteousness goes before him and prepares the way for his steps. Most holy God, most holy God, when we come to you fearing that truth condemns us, show us that truth is one with love in your word made flesh, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The Old Testament reading is from the prophecy of Zechariah, chapter 2. A man with a measuring line. Then I looked up, and there before me was a man with a measuring line in his hand. I asked, where are you going? He answered me, to measure Jerusalem, to find out how wide and how long it is. While the angel was speaking to me, he was leaving. Another angel came to meet him and said to him, Run, tell that young man, Jerusalem will be a city without walls, because of the great numbers of people and animals in it. And I declare, and I myself will be a wall of fire around it, declares the Lord, and I will be its glory within. Come, Come, flee from the land of the north, declares the Lord, for I have scattered you to the four winds of heaven, declares the Lord. Come, Zion, escape, you who live in door to Babylon, for this is what the Lord Almighty says. After the glorious one has sent me against the nations that have plundered you, for whoever touches you touches the apple of his eye. I will surely raise my hand against them so that their slaves will plunder them, then you will know that the Lord Almighty has sent me. Shout and be glad, daughter Zion, for I am coming and I will live among you, declares the Lord. Many nations will be joined with the Lord in that day and will become my people. I will live among you and you will know that the Lord Almighty has sent me to you. The Lord will inherit Judah as his portion in the Holy Land and will again choose Jerusalem. Be still before the Lord all mankind, because he has roused himself from his holy dwelling. And the New Testament reading is from the book of Revelation. Chapter 1, verses 1 to 8. The revelation from Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servants what must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant, John, who testifies to everything he saw. That is the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. Blessed is the one who reads aloud the words of this prophecy. And blessed are those who hear it and take it to heart. Sorry, take to heart what is written in it, because the time is near. John, to the seven churches in the province of Asia, grace and peace to you from him who is and who was and who is to come, and from the seven spirits before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood and has made us to be a kingdom and priests to serve his God and Father. To him be glory and power for ever and ever. Amen. Look, he is coming with the clouds and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him, and all peoples on earth will mourn because of him. So shall it be. Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, 
says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord. In your word is my hope. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord. In your word is my hope. There is forgiveness with you, so that you shall be feared. In your word is my hope. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord. In your word is my hope. The Magnificat, the Song of Mary. Lord Jesus, you are the one who is to come, the one whom we await with longing hearts. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Lord Jesus, you are the one who is to come, the one whom we await with longing hearts. So let's pray. Loving God, we give you thanks for this day, and thank you for all the good things that happened this day. I pray, Lord, for your peace to rest upon all who are joining this prayer. May they know your peace in their hearts and minds. Pray for people who are struggling at this time with anxiety or fear, worry of any kind. May you grant them your peace that goes beyond understanding. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, we pray for our government, for the Prime Minister, and all in authority in our nation. We pray that you'd guide them in the coming days and weeks and months. We thank you that a deal, a trade deal, seems to have been reached with the European Union. And we pray for the scrutiny of that deal and for its implementation to the good of all citizens of our country. Lord, we pray that you'd guide the government in the ongoing response to the coronavirus crisis. And we pray, Lord, for the time soon when restrictions can be lifted and we can return to a measure of normal life in our country. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for all those who are isolated at this time. We think of the lonely. We think of those who live alone. Think of those who are shielding. We think of those who are unable to uh, meet with the people that they would like to meet with at this time, family and friends. A prayer for those whose plans have had to change. Loving God, surround us this Christmas with your presence. Be with us in our disappointment as our plans have changed and comfort us with the good news of your love. Help us to find moments of joy as we celebrate the coming of Jesus, the child in the manger, who shows your love for the world and your light in the darkness. Amen. Heavenly Father, we think at this time for any who are homeless, those who are having to stay in temporary accommodation, those who are actually rough sleeping on the streets. We pray for your protection over them and your provision for them. Lord, we pray for those who are 
relying on food banks at this time. And we pray for emergency provision, especially over the Christmas period. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for those who are sick and in need of your healing touch at this time. Lord, bring your healing, we pray, in the mighty name of Jesus to all who are suffering in mind, body or spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Heavenly Father, we continue to pray for those who are mourning. And we pray for those who are missing loved ones, especially at this Christmas time. Pray for you to comfort them, Lord, as only you can. We pray especially for those who have recently had funerals for their loved ones and those who are arranging funerals now for the new year. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we do pray for all of us in the coming days that you'd help us to receive your comfort and your joy, to celebrate the good news of Christmas and to rejoice in the gift of light and life that you have given us in Jesus Christ. Amen. A collect the special prayer for today. Almighty God, you make us glad with the yearly remembrance of the birth of your Son, Jesus Christ. Grant that as we joyfully receive him as our Redeemer, so we may with sure confidence behold him when he shall come to be our Judge, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And please join with me in the Lord's Prayer. Awaiting his coming in glory, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining us for prayer this evening, whether you're uh, joining us live or watching on a recording. Um, that will be uh, that will be it for a while now as we have the Christmas break. I do hope that you have a very Merry Christmas. Uh, and if you would like to join with any of our services then we have the Midnight Mass service tonight starting at half 11. We'll be going live on Facebook. Um, and a service tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock uh, on St. Barth, uh, uh, Bart's and on the Facebook page. I'm just seeing if there's any places left. Um, there's one place left for Midnight Mass tonight and uh, a handful of places left for worship tomorrow morning. On that note, I will say good night, have a good evening and have a wonderful Christmas. God bless. <laughs>